please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, do we have a quorum present? <coughs> We do. All right. Uh, we have nothing scheduled for a public hearing tonight, so we will go to the first item of uh, business, which is a review and approval of the minutes from both the work session and the council meeting of October 7th. Uh, we will do this as two approvals. So if we will look first at the work session. All right, Stan has made the motion to accept. I second. Elizabeth has seconded. Do y'all need a, another minute to read, or do we want to go ahead and vote? All right, all in favor? Unanimous, thank you. All right, going on to the second set of minutes. This is for our regular meeting. Uh, on October 7th. And after you have read it, if I can get a motion to accept. The minutes is written. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. So Elizabeth motion, Tom second. favor of approving the minutes of the meeting. Unanimous. Thank y'all very much. Okay, now that we have reviewed and approved our minutes, we will go on to the new business that we have on the agenda today. Um, the first thing that we have, and this is something I'm so excited about because it's going to bring uh, additional <coughs> bodies and people to the town is we have an intergovernmental inter agreement between Coweta County and Sharpsburg to let them use the, the Bridges Community Center for their senior services every Monday from 11 to 1. Um, their uh, community center at Central Park over there at the intersection of uh, 154 in Lower Fayetteville is used as an early voting precinct. So whenever they have any elections, it's early voting for a period of, I think, four to six weeks before the election. So 
with five elections in <laughs> in 2019, that's going to absolutely knock it out. So and 2020, and 2020. so they needed a place to um, to 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 place their East Cowboy area seniors, and they thought of us. And, and that's a testament to the work that we've all done over the last couple of years to, to raise our profile. Um, the other uh, positive about it is since we are being used as one of their facilities, they're gonna help us with cleaning of the, of the, of the community center. And currently that's about a $6,200 contract that we pay out to, to clean it uh, twice a week twice a week and and the county will use their facilities people to clean it for us um, so that money once we get into the budget we'll talk about it more but but we plan to use that money for personnel so we're bringing more people in uh, we're helping our area residents and senior citizens with something to do and we're going to save money on the back end so that we can then invest back into the town so really it's a tremendous win for all of us. Um, the IGA in front of us outlines um, what they want to do, uh, what we will do, and numbers one through five here. Um, <clears throat> and this will be from now until December 2020. But we have a 60-day um, out with written notice. So if we all win the lottery and want to rebuild a new one, we can do that with 60 days notice. Um, Brad has reviewed it, and you know it's a it's a good thing. Oh, and and the uh, county has, has already they've already signed it. Coyote County has already signed off on it, so they're just waiting to get this back from us. I met with them two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I volunteered us to if on call we could uh, we could do a do some presentations for them. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. And uh, we mm -hmm. talked one time about doing some out of this, you know, under the auspices of the library. Mm -hmm. So I made that offer to them. Okay. Yeah, excellent. And I told them we could, you know, if they had somebody that fell out, mm -hmm. well, we could jump in pretty quick. Okay. You mean fall out as in like the presentation, yeah. not right. fall out. Right. Right. Oh, okay. We, I was about to say. Clarify that a little bit. <laughs> 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 somebody that no showed them. Or right, they right, right. Cancel out. Yeah. And jump in yeah. The last minute. Um, one thing, and, and this will kind of go into what I want to talk about in, in, in the mayor's minutes, is I would love to, for having that crowd to be able to bring in even more. We could do bingo once a month over fun. there. Yes. And wouldn't that just be a blast? Yeah, and it would be open to the, you know, to the community at large as well. So there's just a lot of things that could build off of this. Mm -hmm. And and right now they, they they seem to have about 20 to 30 seniors that come. And then once a month they do a bring your own dish. And a lot of them didn't want to cook, so they don't come to that one. But yeah, we only had 12 when it was bring your own right. dish thing. But we have about 20, 30 seniors so far. Is That's that all. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully we can get some advertisements out, you know, <clears throat> social media, stuff like that, mm -hmm. Friends of Sharpsburg, mm -hmm. things like that to get some more seniors involved. That'd be great, yeah. They are a hoot. I bet. They are. Oh, they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. You have to watch it. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's just another thing for us to offer the citizens. You know, we've got the quilting, the art, the dance. Um, CPR. Now CPR. CPR. Now we got the seniors. So that's just, you know, just more stuff to bring them into town. So, anybody have any other questions about or comments about the IGA? All right, if I can get a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve it. Tom has the first. I second. Cynthia has a second. All in favor? <coughs> Unanimous. Thank y'all. Okay, so the next bit of new business is our... 2019 budget as of 9-30-19. Um, I have also put a copy of the budget as of 10-31. I balanced the bank statements at home over the weekend and was able to print that this morning, so we're even more ahead of the game. So we'll look at the we'll look at the big one, which is loose on your on your desk. Uh, right there, right there. Tom's got it. Those are the passwords up underneath. Uh, so, Dina, do you want to talk about where we are and 
and what we're doing? Um, right now, <clears throat> as far as receivables, we have received 104% of our annual budget of $202,910, and we've only paid out 78% of our same budget. Um, we've received 83% of our SWAS, and I think it looks really, really good. There are things in the right-hand column that we need to increase the budget for um, probably next month so that we can do the budget transfer so our accountants will be glad to do those numbers. So, Because I haven't done any budget transfers to first of the year, so it's mm -hmm. time to start working on that. And our next item in this, and, and I don't want to go into the next item yet, but as we start talking about the 2020 budget, this information right here on the far right-hand side where we're in, we are showing that the budget should be or could be increased is also reflected in the 2020 budget. Yeah. So you can kind of see where we have spent what, um, and then the timeline is going to be like this. Tonight, we'll put a budget in your hands for 2020 and open to the public to um, look at what we're thinking about. That'll give you all a month to go back and look at it. We can discuss uh, and, and talk about it November, December, and we don't have to approve the 2020 budget until the December meeting, I'm sorry, the January meeting or the 31st day of January. Our charter lets us wait till January 31st to approve the budget. So we've got some time to work through these proposed numbers, but all this conversation leads up to giving us time to think about how we want to frame our budget for 2020. So that's kind of the 30,000 foot view, but going back to the October 31st version, um, you can see where, you know, well, Dina said we're at 104% of our um, income with 60 days left in the year, and we're at 78% of our uh, yeah, expenditures going out with those same 60 days remaining. Um, I didn't touch the money in the library because we need to transfer that money into personnel for Brandy services. And in the 2020, if you look um, under contracted services for Heartland, I think it's about 73. I have got to change that and make that contracted services for Heartland and IT in a box. So that's the way. It'll go up to 7300 I believe, but we have to pay the $6,000 before we get our safety grant. Then we get 25% of that back. So we should be getting that from GMA soon. So she's talking specifically about line item 52-1300. It says, in both of them, it says contracted services, Heartland payroll. Um, but in the 2020 budget, we're going to correct that to where it's all well, not all, it's going to be the majority of contracted services like Heartland, like IT in a box. And the tax collection is going to stay on its own, and so okay. it's still going to be official contract. Yeah. <clears throat> and the increase is reflected in the 2020 proposed budget, which is the, the, the smaller piece of paper. We're not going to take any action today on these two line yeah. items. Yeah. This is just FYI for y'all to, to see and think about. But you can see the right here, 52, 1300. That's probably one of the biggest jumps in the proposed budget. Because if you look down at computers and printers, I deleted, well, I'd um, reduced that from 5,000 to 1,000 because that's where we were paying IT in the box, and I just added it up to the contractor services. And what's company. the computer line item? Um, 54, 2400, the next to the last one on the very bottom. Yeah. You can see in 2019 where it shows IT in a box is being paid out of that. Oh, thank you. Let me ask you something. Didn't we have a bloated uh, legal cost? Yes. And you budgeted for that bloated cost again? Um, no, because Brad has not had to come to as many of the meetings as he did in in 18. I guess my question is, do you expect him to have to do it next year? I don't think so, because Dina and I have a much firmer uh, footing up underneath us. I think during the transition um, from summer of 18 until Dina got hired and then I came on board, we were kind of up in the air. I understand. I don't anticipate it. Well, so that's a $7,000 goodie. Yes. 
Yes, and, and, and I'll be honest, you will notice um, we, we, we do have money socked away in some of these line items. I don't think we're going to use the full 7000 for Brad. So that's something that halfway through 2020, we can say, okay, where do we want to put it? Um, and when Dina is talking about realigning or, or transferring between accounts, Georgia has a balanced budget law, which is <coughs> something that has come up before, that at the end of the year, we need to go back and realign these accounts to where they we balance. budgeted 1000 and we paid 1000 and it comes out to be zero. But if you budgeted 1000 and paid 1200 we need to amend the previous budget to where it's 1200 1200 and zero, and that is state law. And so, I have to take it from somewhere else to balance the bottom yes, line. Yes, yes, because you know the, the the money has to come from somewhere. We can't um, we can't print money, <laughs> even though we're government. We have to have a balanced budget, um, and that is state law. And that is what we will do. You know, are we going to do that in December? You think, or yes. wait till yes. January? Well, we can probably wait until January because what I'd like to do is um, in December I will fill in the gap with numbers that I know we're paying for utilities and things that comes on a monthly basis, and then you'll have a bigger picture for January for us mm -hmm. to um, look at. So what will probably happen in January is we will have, uh, we will approve the amended 2019 budget, yes. and then That's accept yep. the proposed 2020 budget. Would you ever, would you ever do about the accounting fees? Um, so, <laughs> I always figured that thirteen thousand dollars was a heck of a lot to pay somebody to account for a two hundred thousand dollar budget. Once we get yeah no, and I agree, you're absolutely right. That is extremely high. Um, what I want to do is I, uh, probably February meeting or so. I want to start. I want to look at all the contracts. I want to look at the the grass cutting contract. I think we're okay on the trash collection. I want to look at the accounting. I want to look at every con literally every contract that we have and bid out the ones that we need to because they haven't been bid in a number of years and we we may go with the same if I would like to go with the same people that we've got because I think we get good service from all of them but if it's time to recorrect it then let's go ahead and, and, and look at that because we can probably knock five thousand off the well <coughs> probably knock a chunk off of the accounting. Don't know how much we're going to do off the grass or the, um, or even if we asked for the trash service. Right. So I do know the accounting fees. I've done a little bit of homework, and you know they don't require us because we have less than two hundred thousand dollar budget to do one every year. They oh, moved five, it up. Sorry. They moved it up. Okay. However, um, our accountants expect to do one every other year, mm -hmm. but still charge us the same amount of money. Yeah, and that. I, I want to take a fresh look at it. I, I just I, I think we owe it to the town to, to look at the contracts minimum every couple of years. <clears throat> but I think um, Mayor St Staley did the same thing. He skipped a year and he was patronized um, doing that and went back to doing it yearly, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I think as long as we're doing our quarterly updates and, and being very transparent with the budget um, we don't have to do a full-blown audit each year per state law we only have to do it every other year um, but I think if we have the information out there like we've been and, and we have checks and balances in place for all of our policies and procedures over here so every other year but we would still do and, and I don't I don't know the correct term but we would do a light audit each right. year to where somebody's looking at it but it's just not going to be a full-blown thirteen thousand dollars every year to do it and i've talked to sonoli's accountant and he would do a lot less hmm. okay and and once again if we can keep it in the county we would certainly like to <coughs> how much trouble would it be to show us the the uh, splossed expenditures expenses um, not hard Just at all. Print it out. Probably three or four lines in it. Oh, it's yeah. not. It's, yeah. it's not much. In 2013, much. we don't have any, anything except some of the um, checks that we've written out. Um, but it's lost 2019. I don't think. Oh, we haven't touched been, it. Mm -mm, that's no, still we're we're still operating off 2013 splossed. So we're banking. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. That's so right. if you look down at um, the the yellow the bottom yellow line right here, where it says 83% of the splossed 2019 has been received of 
$47,000, we haven't touched it. We've got 37 in um, 2013 and 47 in 2019. Okay, $84,000. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we, yeah, we haven't spent any of it. No, mm -hmm. we really haven't. No. Just pennies, I think the biggest yep. thing was um, okay. the engineer and Mr. Mm -hmm. Brandon Jones. Yeah, we were space. able to use some of the uh, roads and maintenance money for the traffic study. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Well, was it for the traffic study? Yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It was for the traffic study. Remember the, it, mm -hmm. the invoices yeah. we yeah. didn't get for about six yes. months? Yes, mm -hmm. and then we went I back and split that. it up, yeah. Yes. And, and, and that has probably been our largest un, unanticipated expense was his, um, was his uh, invoice, but we still have been able to absorb it with and and I and, and I want to give all the credit over here to Dana. She has really championed and and marked every penny and every penny. for everybody that says <laughs> government wastes money yeah. come look at this because and I've got um, 39 um, 3900 dollars negative in our professional services because of his invoicing so well, and at the same time, though, it was services that the town needed, and yeah. now that we have learned the lesson, we have um, adjusted, so. Well, we had to adjust our fee schedule, yep. and it took, yep. you know, several yep. months to do that, mm -hmm. so. So there is no, we're not, we don't need to take a vote or anything on the proposed, or uh, on the 2019 budget. This is just FYI for you guys to look at. Uh, for the proposed budget, um, there's no action needed. This is just for you to, and the public, of course, um, to take a look at it and review it, and you know, come back with 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 with, um, with thoughts and options and ideas. Um, this, is, this is a lot clearer than it has been mm -hmm. in the past. Yep. Compliments to you. Yep. I had a computer and a printer. Uh, what is the move mm -hmm. to? See, it said move, not that one, but furniture. It said um, thousand move to new, what? I can't read through it. Okay. Um, we it. need to move, uh, hold on, a thousand dollars for. Is it for the new computer? Yes, I need to move a thousand dollars and put that back into computers and printers. Yeah, so basically we'll take that, that 2300 that's left and take a thousand of it and put it back into computers and printers <coughs> to balance out for the new computer that, that we bought last okay, month, the month okay. before last. Yeah, because we're going to be in the hole for computers because mm -hmm. that's where we pay IT in a box at right now. Mm -hmm. And I also put the a thousand dollar or nine hundred and some odd dollars there for the computer, so I'm going to have to move a thousand out of furniture and fixtures into computers. Okay. And the computer here in the library is still working good. Yep. Okay. Yeah, she's got the old one that um, we had in the council room or the file room. Council chambers. Yeah, council. Chambers. <laughs> so I guess as we are looking at our, as you guys are thinking about our budget for 2020, um, think about where your priorities um, are going to be for 2020. My initial thoughts are, and, and I'll get into this a little bit in the mayor's minutes, I want to kind of take 2020 and come up with a plan. Um, we are going to have four years with two, two council members, four years with the mayor. So if we go ahead and start putting in a capital, not, not necessarily even a capital improvement plan, but start planning for the things that we want to build and do that are a little bit longer term than a new computer. Um, what do we want to do with the library? What do we want to do as far as library parking? Um, this is the second time that we've used this with the larger gathering just, than just a couple people. We're going to need to think about parking. Uh, we need to think about the back parking lot. We need to think about sidewalks. Um, what do we want to offer for the citizens and that we need to start planning for in 2020? And of course, this also assumes that the, 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 the speed control and the speed issue is the first thing on the, on the agenda. Uh, so don't think I'm, I'm not skipping over that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But as y'all are thinking about 2020 and beyond, be thinking of what directions and, and things we want to do. Um, any other questions on 2019 or the proposed 2020 budget for y'all? <clears throat> okay.
Thank you. Good. And and once again, I mean, I this 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 young lady over here to my right who has has Thank really you. kept us organized and kept us on um, on track. So no action is needed on either the 19 or the 20 budget. Um, and for the public, I will certainly give you guys a chance to talk about that um, when we get down to the public comments in just a few minutes. <clears throat> um, so if y'all are okay, I'll go ahead and move on to the landscaping and specs. We ended up talking to, or Dina did, both Breaking Ground and Southern Roots um, and came back with the installation and warranty prices. Uh, I talked with council uh, throughout the month and by and large, and do we need to take a vote mm -hmm. on it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, by and large, we had all look, agreed with breaking ground. A um, couple of the reasons is um, they're the ones that came out and did the um, architect. the architect landscaping. landscaping. They do have a one year warranty on the plants. Um, and they are, there was one other reason. What was the third reason that we had for, for, for doing it? They, with the landscape architect, they ended up coming out and, and building upon what we already have. And I guess the plants are interchangeable as well. Yeah. I mean, for, yeah. for the most part. <clears throat> And if you flip over to <clears throat> the next couple of pages, you can see the specifics for uh, breaking ground and southern roots. Breaking ground is the one that made the map. Remember the map with all the flowers planted mm -hmm. there? That's how they came out and did all of that. They did the legwork for everybody else just to quote on it for a mm -hmm. Right. Oh, and another... Um, reason I had talked with breaking ground with the hopes of getting a farmers market in town maybe one Saturday a month one weekend a month um, and hopefully with the idea of them supporting a nonprofit or a civic group um, in lieu of paying say a rental fee or something because as long as they're supporting the community and we're drawing people in and it's on the outside which typically isn't rented near as much as the inside I think it's a win-win for everybody so win for the community a win for them and it's a win for us because once again we're drawing people we're bringing them downtown this idea of bring, drawing people into the into the town hall and drag it, you know, draw, uh, drawing them into into downtown <laughs> we gotta have something for them mm -hmm. to, to do when they get drawn in here yep <laughs> Yep, and that is <laughs> that is that that is yes. the direction that we're heading in. I see a lot of a lot of horses and no carts. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have the horses first. So if y'all, if nobody else has has any questions, if I can get a motion to accept the breaking ground uh, quote for the. The park and pavilion. I'll make a motion. All right, Stan has the motion. I'll second it. Cynthia seconds. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank y'all. <clears throat> okay, so moving on to the traffic study options. Um, Dina, you want to talk about? Well, what I did um, was I typed up this graph, per se, for Tom, um, so that everybody could see um, what everybody is, has quoted for the tr uh, speed humps, speed cushions, speed tables. Now, this does not include the striping that Brennan Jones was talking about last month, because we never really got a quote on the striping. Mm -hmm. So, um, he actually sent us the attached... Um, email from a and r Engineering. Remember, we went back to council and, um, or actually, we went back to Brandon Jones and asked him to go back to the engineers for some um, one-way flow patterns and uh, traffic signals and things of that nature. And they've come back with a large <laughs> um, quote. Um, if you can see on page 
Yeah, page three or four. Page three or four, you'll see what it's going to cost for each one of these tasks. <clears throat> it's seventeen thousand dollars total for all of them, plus reimbursables. So really, what we've got is is we've got two different things here. We've got the material costs for the temporary speed bumps or speed humps, bumps, tables, and then we also have the quote for the permanent also in there under Piedmont paving. Um, more than likely, these quotes do not include insta installation. This is just shipping. I mean, this is just the product itself. Now, does your quote over here include shipping, Dina? Um, let me see. Yes, all of those okay. include um, shipping, but does not include installation, installation. on most of them. Okay. Um, <coughs> The Excel spreadsheet actually goes and, and it repeats what we've discussed the last three mm -hmm. council meetings, the pricing mm -hmm. of each of the humps, cushions, and tables. Um, but Brennan Jones just added the A&R engineering additional services proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so Dina did the traffic study options page, this one right here, and then in your packet is the actual quote from A&R. Um, I had a conversation with DOT um, about a year ago, I guess. No, not quite a year, maybe about nine, ten months ago. I sat down with them and had conversations on a number of items, and one of the things <coughs> that came up, of course, was the speed. And one of the options that they put forth was cul de sac and Tarantine down here, and they came up with a sketch for it as well. And when I knew that we were talking about, um, when I saw that the cul de sacking was in here, I reached out to um, Brennan, I'm sorry, I reached out to DOT and said, Do we need a traffic study to do the cul de sac if we already have this? And he said, Basically, no, no, we didn't. We, we didn't need to do it because we already had their, their sketch. So we have a path forward on the cul de sacking. My only concern with the cul-de-sac is that only eliminates the speeding directly on the south end of Tarantino. So I wonder if we couldn't do a combination and do the speed mm -hmm. humps as listed out on so nice. there on east on Main Street East and West, North Tarantine, and then work towards the cul-de-sac down here. So that way we are addressing the speeding on north, east, and west, and then we will address the speeding going south with the cul-de-sac. The only change that I would recommend making from that is if you look right here, see how much of David's land it's cutting off right there? See that right there? And that's taking all that. I'd almost rather sweep it and come up here and let's take it from the town without having to buy the right of way because we can, I mean, we own that. We don't have to yeah. we purchase any additional land. We don't have to no. purchase any additional land. And even over here, we could kind of, I don't know, I don't, I need to ask Joe if this part over here is part of his, but we could even maybe curve it just a little bit to where we might not even have to get any of that for the cul-de-sac right there. Yeah, do they, do we have the measurements of this? It's probably a standard 24 foot cul de sac. I don't know. I don't know what a standard cul de sac I, I, I is. I don't know either, but it looks, it's probably pretty basic. But it, that would be the one change that I would recommend making is instead of doing that, come up right here. Only problem with that is somewhere in here is that distribution box. Right. We're going to need to make sure that's not touched. But, you know, we can, we can relocate that. Let me show it again. Mm -hmm. Right here, where it comes in and takes up that swath of David's property right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, shift it over here and have it come up here. And then that way we're not having to purchase or take away any right away right there. And then we wouldn't have to wait on any acquisition. Mm -hmm. How about your... Uh, how about your outflow, your outfall lines for your sewer? Or for your we're, we'll, we'll probably have to, we'll have to move it. I mean, because it's probably about... Mm -hmm right in here yeah I'm thinking it's right in here yeah it's somewhere somewhere in that area right there 
Yeah, you're right. And and two, and this is once again thinking forward as we go. What do we what do we do, and how do we plan and use this piece of property right there? If we have it cul de sac, that would make a great make a great little pocket park, um, and we can do landscaping and buffering. So the residents on this side of town aren't getting any, any of the highway noise right there, um, and and we can plan it out and do it probably all at once. So that's another thing to consider. I like it. And while we're doing this, if we can go ahead and come to an agreement on whichever method we're going to do, we can go ahead and get the speed humps installed at the other locations, raised crosswalks, whatever you want to call them, at the other locations and probably get that done quicker. And that would be, you know, further down as we, um, as we do it. But I think as soon as we put speed bumps up down there, there, and there, that's going to cut down a lot of it. Didn't we have to do the striping first? Um, no, I don't no. think so. Okay. I think it now you do have to do some striping before you get to the newly installed okay. speed humps, but the, the narrowing was just one of the suggestions. Okay. And honestly, if we're going to pay $24,000 for some stripes no. or $24,000 for some speed humps, I want some daggum speed humps because, yeah, <laughs> and then we can just do the striping as we, as, as we get to it. Other than what's going to be required to let people know that the speed humps are there. <laughs> um, any other questions or comments from council? Because I do want to give the public a chance at this point to ask about any any, any of these topics because y'all are just as impacted as we Have we got are. anything back from uh, Brennan? on the one-way street option well that look, it's it was right here. All in there yeah it's contained within this mm -hmm. and the that falls under road alternative task three three possibly i think yeah that's under three b and three c And that is going to be, it's going to be about six thousand sixty-two hundred dollars. Sixty-two hundred for that. Just for evaluations. Jesus. I know. Mm -hmm. right. We're in the wrong business. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dina and I look at each other at least twice a month and say we're in the wrong business. <laughs> I don't mind paying somebody to figure out something I don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to pay somebody six thousand dollars to tell me about something that's just. Well, when they make two hundred dollars an hour, I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I understand yeah. what they're doing, but you know, the question is, do they need it? I mean, they, we paid them. How much money did we pay them on the traffic study to confirm what we already had? <laughs> did you remember how much that was? Is that what we'll say again? I can't uh, recall. I want to say it was like it was no six thousand. I was wasn't thinking it? six grand. Six, six, sixty-two, sixty-three. But I can't, all I remember is Brendan at, all at one time and it right. was just devastating. Um, and, and what we can do is, is I think we can go ahead and approve to go after the speed bumps or speed humps, tables, bumps. They're all interchangeable. And then get Brendan started getting quotes and then that way we could have those installed, I don't know, before the beginning of the year, maybe. That'd be great. And at least go ahead and get it, you know, east, west, and north. I don't know. We'll have to. I don't know where the timeline is going south. But if we get started on the speed hump, speed humps in those other locations, we can do that, and then come up with the cul-de-sac um, as it goes. Okay, so you'd have to actually choose which speed humps you're going to do. Now, the, most of these things are not permanent right um let me get back to it that is correct um, well, what you could do is you could uh, you could put them you could put them all over the place <clears throat> with the idea of taking up some down here at, on South Tarantine if you if you do the cul-de-sac thing you've got a couple more you got another one to play with maybe, so so maybe you're put, saying maybe go after like for example the traffic logics and getting yeah. those 
and then having those installed. Maybe put one one on uh, Main Street West, mm -hmm. one on Tarantine <coughs> South, mm -hmm. and if you cut if you do the uh, do the the uh, uh, cul-de-sac deal. You can pick, you can pull the one up on Tarantino mm -hmm. and double Move up it up to North, North Main. Or we could just Main. temporarily close that. Get yeah, that's a good idea too. Yeah. Just temporarily close it in anticipation of making it to cul de sac at some point in time soon. The only worry that I'm I have is it. where. Yeah. It is where we would close it. We have to close it past the, the driveway of, of yeah. Joe's property. So it would be just between here and here. Yeah, because when you come off of 54, it's kind of up. Mm -hmm. So you just don't want people not to seeing it till it's too late. And, and would probably have to leave some kind of warning or announcement or Very sign nice. for a, a week to 10 days prior and then go a temporary barrier. And then I guess maybe if we decide, go with something more permanent while they're doing the cul-de-sac. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and that's another thing. We can, we can vote to, can we directly vote to close or do, do we, Vote to proceed with inquiring how yes. to do it, I guess. I, I, got, I got this on another mm -hmm. too sure. far. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I know we've public comments and all that, but I have no idea what no. you're talking about with a cold set. That's why I'm here oh, to learn. Here. Tom, can you, uh, you pass that down to us? It's the, discussion. the line's yeah. very faint. Yeah. But, can we have public, when is public comment or public comment? Oh, no, no, no. You can go ahead. No, you can go ahead and uh, on this topic, let's let's go ahead and have it just okay, have but, it now. Um, well, let me see where to start. <laughs> Um, didn't you say one time at one of the other meetings that there would have to be public hearings before you close streets? Uh, I don't know. I think the public comment period was the the time period to when we were going to go to a one way. I mean, I would certainly want to take public comments on it. Yes, but I, mean, but I don't know what it would be. I thought you said they said public hearings, not public comment. They were talking about the one way. Brad was at that meeting. The, I can remember the meeting before yeah, that, Brad was there. I think it was about the one way streets having could to do be, a certain could number be. I of just public hearings. Here, here in part. Um, I've got a problem, and of course, this is personal. If you, you What happens with the cul de sac is you're giving one section of Tarantine complete and total relief from traffic altogether. Mm hmm. And you're putting the burden on the other three sections. But at the same time, we're putting the speed bumps up there the first. The traffic is still going to increase traffic because they got to go somewhere. If they're going that way mm -hmm. and they can't go that way, then they got to go some other way. Mm -hmm. They're going to go 54. Yeah, they'll probably go. So you 54. think they won't turn in? Is what you're hoping? Absolutely. Well, I think it'll make it more. more no, go ahead. No, yeah, it'll, right. it'll take yeah. more time. It ta it will take three times as much time to turn off of 54. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Plus, the factor of the speed bumps. When they as go well by my house, they you can see them. They're not even watching the road. They're watching traffic. Fifty four, mm -hmm. because they're trying to beat that. So, I mean, you know, and take out that all together. It just appears that that section is getting complete relief, and the other three will go take the burden off of that one particular. No, but section you're all, you're forgetting that we're putting the speed I know bumps what out you said, there first. But that's hoping for the best. Right. That's curing forever that one section, and it's leaving the other three sections hoping for the best. Well, people coming south on Tarantine from from 154. Right now, they're shooting right on down, hitting 54 down below our house. And what we're talking about doing is, and the cul de sac's fancy work for you know that'd be in. an interesting thing to watch. And you just to sit down on that corner and see what exactly what they're doing. And what they but what, just what from do the is outside turn it appearance, I, oh, it sure. appears to me that it's relieving one section at the expense of the other three sections. You're right. It does as long as you leave out the fact that we're going to put the speed bumps over there. If, if they we, work. If we put the speed tables there, then yeah, it's, you guys will like you will actually get relief quicker than they will. 
because who knows how long <clears throat> it's going to take for the DOT to do the if you do, if you do the if you do well, the that's just my comment so that's right the, I mean yeah. as far as I'm concerned if you do the dead end on, it looks like it's kind of lopsided if you do the dead end of Tarantine <clears throat> people are going to come down south on Tarantine and they're going to turn left to access 54 they're going to turn left on on Church instead of going on straight and hitting 54 at that. But you live in that there. section. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. People and are, you live in that section. Doesn't matter. People section. are still going to turn left on Church off of Tarantine. They're not going to. They're not going to go down Main instead of going to Church. That's and what you're. That's what you're concerned about. And I um, think that once they've experienced the speed humps mm -hmm. and the inconvenience of having to come down mm -hmm. over a speed hump, turn left, they're going to say forget hump, it, and then turn right, they're going to be like, I might as well go down to the red line and take a right, mm -hmm. which is what we're hoping for. Right. 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 Correct. Yep. Yes. Um, we live in Walden Pond. Uh, we actually live in Snow, but I know exactly what you're talking about because we use it as a cut through. But after you do all the bumps mm -hmm. and the left, the left, the right, <laughs> I'm going to do exactly what he said. Just like, right? Because it's in yeah. way too complicated. Yeah. I think you'll remember probably there 60 to 75 percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Like it, I understand what you're saying about the. It looks like you're not getting relief, and the other people yeah, are. But up. after they do what they're gonna do, yeah, that's gonna be a total inconvenience for people mm -hmm. like me. Yeah, eventually so you'll straighten them. Eventually down. you'll see relief too, Polly. Oh yeah. Be yeah, relieved. because the the spot for yours <laughs> is in between you and Eric. So as soon they're gonna have, they're gonna be slowing down about the time they get to your driveway when they get to your speed hump. So it's you're gonna see it almost immediately. Well, I've been at Miss Holly's um, looking at the, the right of ways when people come in mm -hmm. on two wheels right there. They so. don't even slow down to make Oh, yeah. Hit. And I've got pictures of three mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. where they've run off the road on both sides, hit my mailbox and the sign, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so, several times. Got Has it head. always been that way? Huh? Has it? Have they always done it? It's always been rough, yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes against worse as traffic gets heavy, yeah, but I mean, there's right. never mm -hmm. been... No right. <laughs> I hope nobody hits your mannequin. Huh? I hope nobody hits your mannequin. <laughs> you like her? I like her. <laughs> <laughs> she actually has a battery if I can figure out until the <laughs> 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 And I'm thinking about listening to y'all for the picnic thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got some comments. Um, you know, one, one thing we there's kind of a novel idea of bringing people to town and I, and I, I like that because we definitely, you know, that's what we need to bring life back to town. The more congestion you have, you know, that, that's going to deter speeders mm -hmm. in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, and Elizabeth and I talked a little bit about this. Um, you can pay all the engineers you want. <clears throat> you can do all, you can go to all the contractors and all that, and they're going to give you bids and they're going to tell mm -hmm. you, this is my best bid and this is going to be the best solution. But what I found is if I if I have a problem or if I have a uh, question I can't answer, I'm gonna ask somebody that's that's had that those same experiences or or has been put in the same situation. So I, I I don't know that we can sit here and say that we're the only town that's having this problem and, and we come out with all these solutions. Um, why not ask you know other towns? And, mm -hmm. and, I, and that's mm -hmm. I, I ran across um, in my travels. City of Conyers, I, I, I thought I kind of knew kind of how to get to the hospital and go this way and that way. And I so let me try this little street and just see if I can cut through. And lo and behold, I cut through and I got in the middle of all these speed humps. <laughs> and so that was my thing. I thought, well, dead gun, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call these folks and just ask them what the deal was. And the guy was super nice. Um, and the people were all so friendly and like, oh yeah, because I just said, I said, hey, is this somebody can talk about, you know, y'all street and safety and speed and all this. Mm -hmm. And this guy, Brad Sutton from the city of Conyers, he was, man, he was like, oh my gosh, well, I'll, I'll send y'all my, my ordinance and this and this and this and all this stuff. And he was saying that, um, <laughs> you know, he gave me some figures and quotes and stuff on pricing and things. And that's where I would say, go, go to some of these other mm -hmm. towns and say, did y'all use Piedmont paving? Did y'all use mm -hmm. whatever or whoever? But this guy said they, they did their stuff in-house, so the mm -hmm. county did the work for them. And mm -hmm. I know probably the county doesn't want us to do that, but <laughs> you can still ask. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. you know, I mean, so you can kind of put them on the spot. But um, you've got, uh, I asked him about signs and striping and all that, and he was giving me figures that were relatively inexpensive like five hundred dollars per mm -hmm. hump now he also said that's not including like the asphalt but he mm -hmm. was telling me like they mm -hmm. they just do this themselves 
He's got, because hmm. I was asking him, I said, how did y'all mm -hmm. get the engineering, the dimensions, and all this to know what's right and what's wrong? And he was like, well, we just did this, and we did that, and we've got this, we got this formula that we use, mm -hmm. and the way we build them, and I was like, oh, you know, I was like, well, what about, you know, what about if they didn't work, what would, what would y'all have done? He said, well, they're made of asphalt, you can just, you can just dig them up. He said, mm -hmm. they're not concrete, so if you put concrete right. in them, they are, they're going to tear up everything around, but he said, with asphalt, if you're going to repave the road, you can just come through and just knock that mm -hmm. top layer off. Um, hmm. But he had a lot of information, and he said the same thing about first responders, mm -hmm. making sure you reach out to them. Mm -hmm. I asked him about the liability issue and all that, and he was saying all that stuff has worked out. So I, I would say, to Polly's point, you know, it may seem like on, on the appearance, you know, we're, we're looking at making a lot of changes, you know, at one time. I would think if your goal is to bring people to town, and to slow speeders down, take things one step at a time and see what happens as opposed mm -hmm. to making a decision and making it somewhat permanent or at least you've spent a bunch of money mm -hmm. and then you feel like you can't go back on it because I spent this money. I don't want to, right. I don't want to admit defeat because I spent 50,000 mm -hmm. bucks. Right. So take it slow because you are going to deter other people from coming to town, mm -hmm. you know, with all right. the stuff that you're doing. And I, I, I don't want to see the town just totally reconstruct its its uh, traffic. Mm -hmm. I agree, speeding is a problem. I don't live here, but I can see it when I do mm -hmm. come into town. But what are your real goals in, in accomplishing this? I mean, it, it, if you uh, you know you got to think beyond just what's going to what's going to stop speeders right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's plenty of stuff you can do. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can accomplish that goal right now, but then what are the laws of unintended consequences that come and follow after that? Mm -hmm. You know, are you going to you, you, gonna have issues with, you know, people coming to town and navigating? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, right. I'm just saying that's something to, uh, to look at. Um, and y'all teed it up perfectly. You, you know, what, what, what are your goals for the next year? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? And that's, you know, you talk about parking, you talk about sidewalks, you talk about bringing people to town. I, I, I was going on the record, you know, I've, I said it individually, like, we do need, you do need to fix the sidewalks, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, we settled the lawsuit, but I think there are some major issues beyond the issues that I had. And that I just think that's something that would be good to, to, to fix that. I'm just asking, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't really publicly asked it yeah. of basically individual like I said so I would say you know hey you know use some money and clean that up especially before you put in new more sidewalks mm -hmm. um, parking we have property we we would love to partner with the town mm -hmm. okay I've I, I, I mentioned to a lot of people about some of my issues with you know opening it up parking letting festivals go on as long as those buildings are, are kind of still in flux mm -hmm. I, I, I you know my mom gets calls and oh, so sorry, you know, the town's in ruin since Herb died and all this. That's a direct reflection on me and it gets her upset. So, mm -hmm. no, I, I, I don't want to open up my mm -hmm. land for that right now. I just, it, it hurts. It really mm -hmm. hurts. Um, so, later on in the future, yeah, I mean, we're working on these buildings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, another thing is if, if people have issues with, with what I'm doing, I'm trying to work within the confines of the rules and regulations. But you know, calling the EPD from an anonymous standpoint, that that really kind of that stings, and that's that's not fun to deal with. Mm -hmm. If somebody you know, anonymous person wants to know what I'm doing, they can you know, they, it's not it's not you know, hiding anything. Everybody can know what you know. I'm I'm the owner, or we're the mm -hmm. owner. Come to me. Let's talk about it. Um, I yeah. wasn't aware of any anonymous calls to EPD. That's well, I mean, I you know, had a guy. Call me, but that's, that's I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I'll, I'll do what I got to do. But I just want I want I want us to think as a as a town, you know, look a little a little further out on the horizon, and and we, we would we would love to see a lot more go on, especially mm -hmm. if that's what y'all's goal mm -hmm. to bring people to town. Like Tom said, there's mm -hmm. nothing for them to get them in here, and there's nothing for them to see, right. <laughs> yeah. nothing for them to do. Well, if the people are running 80 miles an hour down Tarantino, they could come in here and see a bad wreck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, like, when you guys are talking about in the town, to town, do you mean like this ghost-looking town thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, this is such mm -hmm. a hidden treasure. Mm -hmm. You should really try yep. to do something with yes. it. We live in Sonoma. We started our little farmer's market thing back in June. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of going very well. So if somebody has suggested to reach out to like other little communities mm -hmm. around you, mm -hmm. Newton gets a lot of traffic too. And I think that it's very doable with that farm that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so it could be like a barter thing, you know, mm -hmm. where they could come in and not yep. pay a fee and put their stuff out and help the community. Because people will come out. Because mm -hmm. we live in like close to like downtown Sonoy, but we'll go all the way up to um to the Noonan one and we go up to Serenby. Mm -hmm. So people will come. <clears throat> and yep. I know that like the speed I, I know that the speed's a problem, that, that parking's a problem. But you just need to kind of get it started. I totally mm -hmm. encourage you guys to put that in your budget and do it because you know and then get the younger kids to mm -hmm. put it on social media or even you guys, I don't do it. I'm like a fossil. Yeah. I do not Facebook, <laughs> Twitter or anything else. But you know, if you all do it and then the younger kids, then you'll get people out here. Mm -hmm. And it might, yep. you know, wake it up a little. Um, is most of it owned by like a certain family mm -hmm. or is is it that yeah, 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 <laughs> Mr. Bridges. I, I, I was like, I think it might be his family who owns mm -hmm. a lot of it. So is there so is he the sole owner of it all? Or most of it? Yeah. He has family Just whatever, yeah, the, the stuff you see in the ghost town reference, yeah, that's that's ours. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, we do too, yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I would, I would ask too, you know, it's like Polly was saying about a public hearing for certain things, clo closing a road or whatever. Are we going to do that? Because I think I think we do need we do need to let mm -hmm. the surrounding yeah. area people oh, yeah, know, absolutely. or at least for comment. Yeah. I mean, they may have no, ideas no, 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 or may have yeah. something that we're not thinking about. Yeah. We're pretty well we're, we're pretty close insulated. On. Yeah, my plan of action would be to talk to to Brad and find out what we legally have to do, and then we'll, you know, we'll we'll follow that, and then also open it up to public detail and and, and, and comment and options to present some options. Well, I think we ought to come up with a with a plan and then lay it out, and then let people comment on it. Yeah. As opposed to laying it all out and then you know taking mm -hmm. it here, there, and yonder. Right. Tell them what you want to do. Show do you, it to them and then let them let them criticize it and poke a, you know add to it, take away from it. Do y'all want to come try to come up with a plan tonight? I mean, I think we kind of have the rough shape of one. If we want to go ahead and do the sidewalks east and west, I'm sorry, speed bumps east and west, the two north, and then look at following procedure to close and cul-de-sac Tarantine with the uh, understanding of, of until then putting down maybe one of the temporary ones. We'll go ahead and put down two and, and then you can, you can take up one. So so do two north, one each east and west, and then the two, like it says in the traffic plan? Do everything in the traffic plan except just put one on the west side of Maine. And then if you, if you, if you do the cul-de-sac, Mm -hmm. Take up one of there. Take take up one there. Mm -hmm. Put it on Maine. If you don't do the cul-de-sac, buy buy another one for Maine. Mm -hmm. But give okay. Polly her, give the Polly side two. Mm -hmm. Give the, both north and south two. Well, if I'm two. not mistaken, it calls for one east and west, and then two north and two south. It calls for two and two, doesn't it? I thought it just called for one east and west. Think calls for two and two. Does it? Okay. Well, whatever it says in the plan, then. Well, what? Uh, maybe what you're where you're getting confused. There was a there was one hump down here mm -hmm. and, a, and a raised crosswalk. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So what you can do is you can do the raised yep. crosswalk and not the second hump. Second hump down Take there. Take that hump, put it down past here. Past Bobby's. Yeah. Okay. You're talking about sixteen hundred dollars, an extra probably an extra yeah. three thousand installed. Yeah. So you know. Question: Are you saying mm -hmm. then there's one option to take it or leave it? No. But you said you kind of got one big plan. Yeah, you well, said the, just the, one plan and let them come look at it. If you don't have an option, then that's no, take no, it or leave no, it. No, no, no. Here, here's your, you know, lay your option out. That we've, we've paid for this thing. Lay this option out, and and then throw it up in the public. Okay, this is what we're planning on doing. What do y'all think? And then people say, well, you know, I, I like it. I don't like it. You let's take it or leave it. it. <laughs> well, you, no, you can always say, okay, well, let's do something else. Let's, you know, we can let's. That's the invitation to comment. That's the invitation so it's to not comment. just one plan. Do you yeah, have an idea, Polly? Huh? Do you have an idea that you would suggest? Yeah. That would stop it all together. 
<laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, if you stop it all together, it's just oh, the way it is. You know what? No, no. I mean, stop the track. I'm kidding. I'm not I'm serious about that, of course. Together. Yeah, if you get, somebody comes up with a better idea than what we're talking about, great. I, I just, I like, I like kind of staging it just so you see. You don't know, you have no idea what in, an impact of one seed hump is going to do, much less mm -hmm. all this other stuff. Yeah. And you're spending all this money. So, and like I say, talk to other towns. I mean, I, I, I can't remember, this was College Street in <coughs> Conyers, I think, and I don't know how many speed humps there were, but I don't know the distance, but that was my question to him was, has it worked? He's like, yeah, it worked. You know, the, the residents on that street are happy. You know, he said, the, the only, and then that's when I asked, well, who's not happy with it? And he said, well, the first responders don't really like it, but, you know, we, uh, you know. So, got to come anyway. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's a trade-off. But, and, and, and it is a trade-off to those people that live on that street. You know, mm -hmm. if you're, you know, having a heart attack, mm -hmm. you, you know, so. Right. You know, that's, that's a trade-off. But I, but I would like, like I said, the, um, just kind of in stages. If you're going to, you know, if you're going to do something and you know you're going to go ahead and start with the speed humps, just say, hey, that's what we're going to do, and then evaluate success or failure, you know, based on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's my opinion. And so you're thinking, go ahead and put in speed humps and <laughs> then, know, yeah, that, and and then, then evaluate? You're talking about those little bump bumps. You're talking about the, the no, we're talking about the speed yeah, tables. Yeah, because I was going to say, they've had those speed bumps once yes. they had to take them up. Mm -hmm. my, my, my suggestion is, is, like I said, talk to other towns mm -hmm. that have had similar problems and just see what, what, what you know, potholes they fell in. and. Yeah. Skint their knee, and I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd not done that, you know, yeah. kind of thing. Versus, you know, taking, like I said, engineers and consultants and all that, and they're gonna spout percentages, and mm -hmm. this works this amount of time, but you know, certain amount of time it doesn't, and we just might be the town that has the situation that, right, this percentage of the yeah. time it ain't working. I don't mm -hmm. know. Because unless, unless. Well, you're talking. You're talking about two things. You're about, you know, number one, you decide you're going to do it. Then number two, you. Talk to these folks and see what they, how they did it, and what worked and what didn't, which is a follow-up to it. Follow -up but they, to they may have different options and different things other than what we've got on the table. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, hey, uh, it stopped it on this street, but we did this over here, and this is better. Whatever. I don't know. I mean, I you know. Well, Peachtree City's done two or three things, and there's it's easy enough to pick the phone up and talk to those folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get some references from these different. Different companies. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I like the you know, talking about getting the accountant from Sonoy. I mean, what about Turin? You know, find somebody with like towns to do mm -hmm. it. And, I, and I, I do remember, Polly may remember, y'all may remember that that accounting agency was just a, it was an auditing firm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't accounting, it was an auditing firm. And based on, like, say, every two years you have to do it of this size. But that, that accounting firm, auditing firm, was like, you know, Dallas, Tampa, New York, mm -hmm. LA. It's like, yeah. You know, we really need somebody yeah. with that, those kind of credentials and that, that kind of thing. It's like, come on, we talked about somebody in Calgary County, yeah. like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was a lot of comments. No, 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 no. That's what we wanted. We wanted to get the feedback and, and, and the engagement. Um, so, Council, what are y'all's, what are your ideas? Do we want to go the route with the temporary ones and get them in place and then solicit some public feedback on them or do we want to come up with a plan like Tom said and then have a public hearing on it um, I just I, we've been talking about it for months yeah I mean yeah. And, and, and if we want to keep tinkering with it I mean I, we can, but I'd rather do it or stop talking about it. Really, and you know, I mean, well, I'm not ruling. I'm, I'm not ruling to stop talking about it. Right? No, no, no. Right. Yeah, we're not going to not stop. Talking let's about let's it. adopt. Let's adopt as a as a plan what the study showed us in the mm -hmm. first place. Mm -hmm. Two and two, two and two. <clears throat> adopt that. Get a, a feel for the cost of that. Mm -hmm. a, a, a razor mm -hmm. cost of that, mm -hmm. and then talk talk to some other municipalities mm -hmm. that have done it mm -hmm. and fine tune it and then throw it up into the public for their comments yeah. mm -hmm. do it that way yeah we really do need the public comment mm -hmm. definitely okay. um, but like they're saying if we don't sit there and think about what kind of impact it's going to cause mm -hmm. we won't get nobody in town so 
Right. We just figured that out. Luckily, we've got mm -hmm. like four or five other entrance and exits, you know, mm -hmm. where a lot of towns don't have so many. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. just too late, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then one thing, too, I, I would include in addition to getting the prices and get options, we'll uh, put Brad right there in the middle and see what is the process for closing the street. And at the same time, I can be talking with DOT to get a time frame. And I thought he was going to give me a, a, a price ballpark on that <coughs> um, and, and just see, see kind of where that is because it, that's probably going to be a two-stage thing to, to do the cul-de-sac. And also to the speed tables. <clears throat> so we've got to make a decision about those two. Um, Question, what kind of time frame are you talking about with all of it? Should it be approved? Well, we're in November Soon. now. <laughs> um, if I we mean, can. after the time it's approved. How right. much is it? And when y'all make the decision from there to doing it, what's I, the time frame? I think we could probably get the, the, the speed humps installed in just four to six weeks, wouldn't you think? If not sooner. Because the biggest thing, out of this list, the biggest thing right here is going to be finding someone to install the cushions, especially if we go with the, the temporary cushions. That's going to be the biggest thing is finding someone to install them. Um, and once we do that, then we just order it and pay the bill and, and have them put down. I bet you I'd be surprised if you could, if you, if you did everything right, and I'd be surprised if you could have it done within, you know, within six months. Mm -hmm. You mean the, the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about just the just the speed hump bump lump part of it. You think it takes six months to do it? Oh yeah. yeah. Try to get somebody to put a gutter on your house. Really? I mean, well, it takes a long time. See, so you got hmm. all you got. They got to they yeah. got you got to pitch in. They got to they got to produce these things. Or right. It's not like something you pull off the shelf. They got to come out there and they got to look at it. And they got to you know it's just gonna take some time. Hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, taken yeah. us five months to get our compo from Christopher <laughs> Brothers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true too. Time yeah. What do you, what do you, you know, the, the cold sex is kind of new to me and just sort of getting me, uh, just trying to get my head wrapped around it. What are you going to do with the remaining Tarantine uh, after the cold sack? You know, in between the cold sack and where it comes into 54, mm -hmm. it'd probably go back to the. the I don't know, but I would think the state would deed it to the town, or maybe the state just owns it. I don't know what they do after they close the road. My preference would be to include it as part of the park right there, but I, I don't know how that would work. And, and you're, are you, the way it's proposed right now, I guess um, you're going to have to purchase some right away? Well, if we move, the way it's drawn on that, we would we'd have to purchase some from David Mullins right there at the corner. And then probably some from you right there past the, the driveway. That was what I was telling them was to shift the um, the curve a little bit to the south, so we we would be on our land rather than David's. And then rather than have to buy the right away from you, just kind of skew the cul-de-sac a little bit to the east and have it kind of at an angle so we wouldn't even have to, we could put the cul-de-sac part on the town side so that way you wouldn't lose anything at all. You gonna be able to meet the state highway? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, that's just me. Right away? Me uh, assuming and hoping. I mean, I, I would think so, um, especially if, if they saw that we could do it and it wouldn't slow down the process. But like I say, I, I'd like to see it kind of just doing phase if, if you're really trying to, you know, create the speeders, stop the speeders, you know, instead of taking a bazooka after it, just yeah. let's, let's, let's peck away at it and see what the results are. And in the meantime, one of the other options is before we do that is just barricade it, put up maybe 14, 21 day notice, this road will close such and such date, and then at that date, then we put the barricades up, leave those up for two weeks, and then we can come back and do maybe a nice planter or something. I mean... Yeah, the speed humps, bumps, lumps, that might take care of the problem without any any cul-de-sac. Yeah, that's true, too. 
if we put the speed bumps in place, that may just drive everybody off of it and we wouldn't have to close it. I got one more question. The last time sure. you talked about this, we talked about one-way streets, and we haven't talked about that at all tonight. Because it's going to... Yeah, because and part of that is because I, I guess we're working down the list, but inside the traffic study, the the cost to even study the one way streets is sixty two hundred dollars. Oh, okay. So I think we're looking at some of these other options oh, okay. prior to getting to that. But yeah, you're right, Tom. It may be that we put the 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 humps, bumps, and lumps down, and you know we see a 50% drop in traffic of cut through traffic because because I because I mean I'm right. still gonna come through right. here every well, day I don't, I don't care I'm not at 80 miles an hour right not at 80 miles an hour I mean, that, that was that was your problem you were solving you started out to solve right mm -hmm. just yep. yeah I, I mean I, I never have looked at it from the standpoint of cutting down on traffic I looked at it from the standpoint of cutting down on speed, speed. Yeah. yeah you know Tommy exactly I'm with you on that totally yeah, I don't want that's to keep been out the of problem. Here. It's not the amount, it's the speed that they struggle through. Right. right. And I still think that, and I know you argued about that, but I still think if you'd slow it down on either end, they couldn't be as fast coming in to it. Right, them. absolutely. But you said no yep. to that. I'm sorry? You said no to that. How did I say no to that? I if we're putting that a long time ago. How are you going to slow them down on either end? Reduce the speed limit. No, no, no. Oh, 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 on the state highways. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I went oh, to DOT oh. and they did their speed studies on both ends of it and they, they said that they wouldn't change it. You said what they said was that people were following the speed limit. Yes. That's what you said in writing. Yes. Well, if they follow the speed limit, if you said 35, they would then go 35. Uh, no, what I said is they're going the current speed limit because... Uh, That's right. But if you had the current speed limit at 35, then they would probably go 35. But would they ever agree to drop the speed limit? No, so they they are, that's the state, state highway you not. won't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why do they do it on other towns? I have no idea. Well, you know, the, the, the glaring question is why you got, why do you have 45 on 54? And 35 on And 35 on 54 yeah. and Audubon on 16. <laughs> yeah. And 80 on 13. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Could, could, could they, they have special sort of regulations with churches and schools. Is there not mm -hmm. some way we could, we could, you know, the church couldn't, couldn't, you know, apply to the DOT for any kind of concessions or anything? Because because we because we got churches on both ends. We've got church on well, sixteen, good. two well, on fifty-four. Well, we've got a church here right beside City Hall. Exactly. They rent from you. So yeah, yeah. Well, sixteen. I mean, you've got one church on I'll, sixteen. I'll, yeah. I'll, I mean, I, I don't because I remember talking to Alan Star about that or something, and he, I forgot what he said, something about because Charon's got the same thing. I forgot what he said, but he was like, DOT won't do anything unless you got, I mean, like a legitimate school or something. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have an illegitimate church. <laughs> no, school. I said a legitimate school. Well, 16 coming through Turing is 45. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are actually looking at reducing the speed from 54 as you come into Tour and headed north on 54. Before, you get, before want, you get to the roundabout, we want to reduce it to at least 45 the there. Because people think that's the extension of Turrentine, so it's 80 down there as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we're working to get that reduced a little bit. And then if they patrol it more, hey, there's income. And our towns are going together. Yeah. Blue our towns are yeah, going no, together. No, 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 no. So yeah, I agree. Didn't slow down. Continue it. And 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 if Alan is already talking to DOT, I'll just chime. Or if he will allow, we'll chime in on the conversation together, and both of us will go to him. It was brought up at our meeting. Then two we wouldn't have spent any money. Okay. So. It's not going to stop people from speeding down yeah, there. Yeah, it's still it a slows them through. down. It's not going to slow them down. I'm here to tell you. I think your 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 speed hump strategy be a great starting point and see how that goes and I'll discuss with you after the meeting mm -hmm. about what happened in, the, uh, okay. in another town where we own property that, that okay. was a fiasco. Real the speed humps were? Well it's how it was done. Okay. But All right. I'll talk to you about it. Okay. So our options right now, we're still on the get prices, get options and public comment stretch or do y'all want to go ahead and look at putting the speed humps down? Well, I'm, I, I, I make a motion that we that we adopt the plan that was submitted by the 
by the engineers. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, get, you know, get a get a firm quote or set of mm -hmm. quotes from people, mm -hmm. including the installation. Mm -hmm. And then at some point in time, after we've done that, some some point in time soon after that, mm -hmm. publish it, throw it open to the public, and ask for public comment. After the install. No, after oh, we get the data, after, after we get the, the after we get the oh quotes. okay 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 got the plan. Got mm -hmm. the quotes. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're planning to do. Comment on it. I think that's what he's asking, right? I mean, we have yeah. the we have the quotes, right? Yeah. Well, well, well you can find we've got tunnels. we the installation yeah. quotes. Yeah, yeah, we need yeah we need to find we have the we have partial quotes. We just need to fine tune it. Right. With the yeah. installation. That's what I'm, I I move we do that. Okay. So do we need to pick one? Um. Because. And, and see, the thing about it is each of them define humps and cushions and table differently. I know. What? That that's, that's the only thing because... They're all different. Mm-hmm. Why would they do that? Well, number one, is there any, is there any legal uh, blocks to doing any of it? Do you have to have them four inches tall versus six inches tall versus... Uh, no, I don't know. There's um, regulation. Is, is is there and then, yeah that's probably a standard engineering detail but that would be something that that I would I guess I would get from Brad or DOT or even Brendan I guess and then and then you know part of your part of your fine tuning on the quotes is get a get see what the county will do it for put in the submit a con or a asphalt I I can ask but the worst thing to yeah. they're not for it yeah I don't care if, if you're not. gonna do it anyway yeah you might as well say I give you the business yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've made no bones about where I feel what I feel about asking for permission. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, they want to start putting cop cars in here. Then we'll talk permission. Yeah, yeah, it's easier to beg for forgiveness yeah. for sure. <laughs> okay, so get prices, get some options, and then do public comments. Um, so, do we think that we're in November now? You think maybe mid December? For a public comment thing, or y'all want to yeah. try to avoid the holidays, or well, you do, you don't have to ask for the comments on you know one night. You can mm -hmm. throw it open and let them comment for a month, right? So okay, and then come back in January. So okay, this is what people said. Yeah. And All you know what I'd like to do? To do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Holidays are bad time. Yeah. Like, everybody's no. distracted mm -hmm. unless you want them to be distracted. No. No. Mm -hmm. well, well, you know, fine. You know, I mean, you just, you but if you give them a lot, if you give them plenty of time, you know. Well, it might take us January, it might take us November, December to get our act together on it, and then you know throw it up in a month after we decide. Okay. And then two, another thing that I'd like to do, I'd like to mark out there where they would be, future speed hump. At the at each of the locations. I wonder how much reduction in traffic if you put it on the absolute end of Tarantine on the north end, just said speed humps, you know, Ahead. somehow to frame mm -hmm. something. Even on Main Street on 54. Mm -hmm. They might go, whoa, whoa, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> they'll see you before they hit it. Yeah, they'll go, well, I'm not going <laughs> there for the speed humps, no way. Yeah. I got a brand new car, low riding. <laughs> you know? See, I, 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 I choose the other option, which is don't Surprise. tell them at all. <laughs> yeah, you want to go I want to see some guy. You want to body shop or something? <laughs> no, I want to be in my backyard when you pull over we chatted the other day. I want to be out there and I see know. some guys 60 miles an hour coming through there. I want to see him. Sail on the car. I want to see their transmission fall out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> would, would open a body shop on Terry T if that happened. <laughs> I would rather see, yeah. I'd rather see that than Andy knocked 150 feet in the air when he's yeah. trying to walk his dog. Uh -huh. You know, one time we were sitting out there on Andy's porch and this guy just, low sports car just came flying through and he came about the same time a bird did. It was just... Oh. Feathers. I mean, it was just, it was a cloud. And we're all like, what was that? And he's like, it was a blinky blink bird. He just hit it. Did you see that? Well, do we need to, do we need to make that motion and then? Uh... Um, there's not really a motion because I don't have a, a, a firm amount to ask you to approve. We well, got a process. But I, I do think that, that we could put it to a motion to get prices. Get options and then solicit public comment. Can we also get? Um, I know I won't be the one doing it. I work too much. Mm -hmm. But at least get like uh, Joe said. 
go somewhere else and mm-hmm. get two cities that did it yes. and find out yep. their okay. their pros and cons for the whole thing. Okay. So at least three. Well, I mean, it's yeah. three is too I'll many. I'll give you that guy. I got, okay. some, I got his name. Yeah, Brad Sutton. Sutton. I mean, mm-hmm. at least two. I mean, at least uh-huh. we have yeah. some. Yeah. And then, too, Dahlonega has done some stuff as well I mean, that I have heard good things about. Well, like I said, I won't be doing the work, so. Yeah. Well, and, two, I'll, I'll be honest. I had kind of factored because I have Brad's name. Oh, that's the other Brad. That's our Brad. Yeah, I talked name. to Blue last week mm-hmm. or the week before so. about Joe and I's conversation about, you mm-hmm. know, reaching out to other towns. and Yeah, because, I mean... He, like I don't know your name, but he said he, he wanted to talk to you later. But mm-hmm. what he knows, yeah. I mean, and okay. maybe this this little store of comments can okay. tell you right then that we might not need the tables on. So know. so we'll get some firm prices. Yeah. Um, then I'll go ahead and get options, including other towns. Yeah. Dot. Brad Sears. And then. And I can definitely do that by um, December. We are having a meeting in, the, in December? Mm-hmm. We are? Okay. I know that we kind of gone over. But you're going to lay all that up against the original? That, yes, it's going to be the original yeah, in the original okay. speed study. The traffic study. Mm-hmm, traffic the original study. traffic study. And then following the December meeting, open it up to public comments. And you know what? That would almost dovetail perfectly with the future planning that we would do, or the future planning work session of whatever we decide to do in January. Because if we have a 30 day window from December to maybe middle January, and then we have a work session before our January meeting, that might work. You could call a meeting too, for mm-hmm. just for yeah, this. We'll to. Yeah. I'm just looking at the dates. Yeah. And we can come back with some exact dates because we're going to have to look at the schedule at Town Hall anyway. Um, so, if I can, let me get a motion for me to proceed with getting firmer pricing. Write this down. Firmer pricing. Get options, including other towns, DOT, Brad Sears, and then setting a public comment period. Add to that that you that you're. Based on the yep. original yep. Okay. study. Yep, okay, correct. So based on the original um, traffic study, we're going to get firmer prices, get some options from other towns, DOT, Brad Sears, and then have a public comment session. Well, I would think you'd want to, you'd want to come up with a, a plan and then ask for the comments. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's what he said. Yep. And then the original study, the prices, the options would be the plan, and then we would open it and present it to the public. But really, if you think about it, it's based on the original study, the same thing we've been talking about the whole time. Mm-hmm. Well, we just we we slough a lot of things off. Yep. For various reasons. Yep. Okay. So, can I get a motion? I make that motion. All right, yes. Tom. Tom has the first. I second. See if they has a second. All in favor? Unanimous. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so that takes us through our new and old business. Um, public comments over any and everything. <coughs> Starting Hello. from the left. Well, I lived in another state and town. Uh-huh. Speeds don't work because we have all these speeders coming through our neighborhood mm-hmm. going into the next neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And we petitioned for speed tables and bumps mm-hmm. and then it just reduced the traffic. I think huh. it's where like it's too much trouble. We'll stay on the main road and use our own entry. Excellent. Our Good. So I've seen that they work because okay. at that time they were young mm-hmm. and I didn't want them to be out and for them yeah. to get hit or something. Mm-hmm. And the Dad's even said, well, we'll just go out there. If the city doesn't give it to us, and just drop concrete in the middle of the night. No one's going to know. And I was like, that's against the law. So we actually like, petitioned and we yeah. worked. Cool. So, ladies, I know who y'all are, and I know why you're here, but I want you to speak to council and tell them who y'all are, what you're doing at the high school, and why y'all are here. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm Megan Carr. I'm a sophomore, and I go to school at East Coweta High School, 
And uh, I'm here for the civic, uh, wait, what did I say? Yeah, the civic diplomacy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. So you have to sit in on how many? So they're going to be here a long time. Oh, yeah. 15. We need 15 hours. <sighs> cool, we can fill those up. We'll get right so you came to the right place. Yes, <laughs> right. And then I'm Morgan. I'm a senior, and I'm on the SGA. Um, I'm a secretary, like an officer position. And cool. And then I'm the secretary for NHS and the president of the St. Louis Law Society. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you all for coming. Yeah. We. Uh, yes, yeah. Carl, I'm their mother. Yes. <laughs> Um, Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're awesome. Um, one of the things that we have tried to do from the beginning is just build that relationship with East Coweta because yeah. these are our future residents. If we give them a place to come back to, then we're going to be set for the next generation. Because we don't want to do this forever. We want to bring some of y'all. Well, I was telling them that they hold offices in school, so mm -hmm. they will be doing this. Mm -hmm. They should be doing mm -hmm. this. Now, are, you guys, are you ladies with the ambassador um, club? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not with them. No, okay. but I do know about that. Yes. yes. Oh. That was really nice because yes. we're involved in a lot of community service. Cool. Well, thank you all for coming. We yeah, really appreciate you. having really you. Enjoyed it. If you need some hours, let me know. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll sign, find something for you to do. I'll find something for you to do. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Polly, anything else? Love your else? new website. <gasps> Yay! Yes, okay, so, okay, I'm going to talk about that too. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. We're not yep. finished with it. Yep. It's still under construction, per se. We're um, fine-tuning it. That yeah. was the nicest surprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We have really yep. been working hard, and it is up and running. If you don't mm -hmm. know, just go to sharpsburg-ga.gov, mm -hmm. and it is awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, we're proud of that. We've got a lot of more pictures to put up, mm -hmm. and some more forms, right. and... Better format than the other one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We don't have to do, to do it. it. Yeah. And, and it's going to be cheaper to run because we're going to learn how to post stuff ourselves instead of paying yes, awesome. full media yeah. to do it when they get around to it. Yeah. So, Joe, did you have anything? No, I mean, I think I've pretty much said everything. Um, take, take it to heart about the sidewalks. So yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and two, as, as long as we can work it into a future... Um, a future use that that's that's what I want to put back on you give us a way to in to do it as part of a larger project sure so that's think think of think of it like that Shelby honey you got anything you sure okay all right Alan anything anything you guys want to do on your Facebook page if you ever want to do a live broadcast mm -hmm. let me know we're able to do that I've got 10 cameras and everything we need to do live broadcast so okay Whatever you want to do, give me a call. Also, when we post this stuff, it's WTRN, the voice of Turin, mm -hmm. and Sharpsburg on Facebook page and also on YouTube. Okay. So you'll be able to follow We need to link to that on the website. Become yes. subscribers to that, add it mm -hmm. to your website. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is yep. WTRN. Yes. So how do you get to it? Go to Facebook. Facebook and then WTRN. Oh, okay. WTRN, the voice of Turin, and it's also the same name on YouTube okay. and the web the uh, email address is also WTRN, the voice of Turin at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. So cool. it all it all is easy. Mm -hmm. oh. It all flows. Good. Good deal. All right. Um polling of council. Mr. Parton. Nothing. Nothing. I'm That's good. good. Mr. Tito. I would like for you to I say you you were Dina to Come up with some petty cash mm -hmm. to let Ansley go mm -hmm. to Home Depot mm -hmm. and Home Depot, to Hobby Lobby and get some materials that she would need to jazz up the uh, jazz up the Our uh, meeting board outside. Meeting board outside the oh, city hall. Okay. And also, you need to get some plexiglass to replace that one side. That's okay. Right. Sure. It's not a big deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. when I got to work this morning. All of our sheets. I must have been raining over the weekend or some powerful and wind. But it just just yeah. dolled up. Oh, yeah. everything was out and wet. So I already talked to her about it. She said okay. she'd do it. Okay, cool. Just, since you're her daddy, you could. Oh wow, you got more out of her than I have because I've been telling her to stuff her. <laughs> yeah, okay, but yeah, yeah, right, yeah, I'll get it. Well, she said it. she'd like to. She oh. wouldn't mind doing it. Okay. So cool. just take her to Hobby Lobby, or she can ride to Hobby Lobby and pick it up, and, okay. and come back, and you know. Okay, absolutely. Well, tell her to come to me, and I'll give her some cash. That'll work. Miss Cynthia, that's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
Christina. Kirk's okay. comments. Okay, Christmas is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to talk about Christmas decorations. We we had some in the <clears throat> Connex box outside, and I don't even know what is there. A lot of our lights are not working around the gazebo. Um, we need to buy two Christmas trees and some lights. What do y'all? Give me some input. Christmas trees are about $180 now. You talking about a live one or a real one? No, no, no. no. A, an artificial. No. Artificial trees. That way we can keep them. Um, but we, I think they always did one in the gazebo and one in town hall because we have a lot of families that rent through December to have their own Christmas parties, and they always use our Christmas tree. Would it go in town hall or go in the community center side? Well, I'm sorry, community okay. center. Yeah, okay. one goes in the community center and one goes out in the gazebo. I've got, um, if you can come by my house mm -hmm. or something, I, I go, I've got... I don't know how much garland and about 20 wreaths wow. and a ton of bows okay. that my client gave me that I'll donate to the town. Okay. Okay. But we could use that. Yeah. Okay. We need new lighting. I'm not sure. We have a lot of weddings right now and they're really looking at that gazebo at night time. Well, these We're have lights. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the garland, garland has... is. It's like pre-lit. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and whatever we do, I'd like to do pre-lit. Yes. So that way we don't have we to don't combine have to. the lights. Oh, yes. yeah. Any yeah. reason to screw with a live tree outside that you could plant after Christmas? Or just go ahead and do an artificial? I would do artificial. I, I would say artificial now, but I'm not opposed to the idea of doing a live tree if we can bake it into our future plans. This is just a... a where are you going to get one with roots? I have no you idea. That's so hard. I, I can't do it anymore. Right. I'm used to all that's what right. I'm That, that, that uh, breaking ground has got, they've well, got good balls, true. biggest yeah. balls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was in school, we did that instead of having a you know, fake tree. Mm -hmm. And they planted them. And now, behind that elementary school in Avondale, it's like a forest. These trees are oh, that big around. Because cool. that was 40, 50 years ago. We did it. Just kind of decide that you could That's a plant all over the place down there. Hmm. Um, and you know, one thing I don't know. Well, maybe I'll ask Breaking Ground. Let me ask Breaking okay. Ground and see what kind of price you can give me for a real tree. Yeah. With uh, installation afterwards. With installation. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't digging that hole. <laughs> um, you okay. Can plant, you can plant them along that fence line. Yeah. Okay. All right, so, yeah, well, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Breaking ground. Okay, oh, so. I'm sorry. The decoration only going to go for town hall? What about the main outside? Well, I was going to, yeah. yeah, I don't know anything about what, what did y'all do before? I was thinking, so had, we, could do, we could use some of those wreaths, and like I said, I got bows. They're like, yeah. Okay, what would you put them? Along, on, do on we have the, light posts? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we have lamp posts that we can hang it off of. Okay. Because like I think or, previously you know, they did garland on them, didn't I they? I can't remember. They, they used to do them they got on. stolen. Uh, uh, some of the telephone poles mm -hmm. from years ago, they, they had some kind of bracket that you would mm -hmm. put something in and then you would hang a banner or whatever. Okay, I, guess, mm -hmm. I think I vaguely remember the banners. And, still, I think they're still up there, but I don't think the little poles are okay. still there. Some kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I'm getting um, calls from different vendors <clears> that are selling different kinds of banners and stuff like that, but they're pretty expensive. But I'll look and see what kind. We, I don't know what we have in what, that container. Honestly, <laughs> what I think we should probably do is let's look at some of what Elizabeth has, okay. and then let's give her an amount to go shopping with, mm -hmm. $500, $700. We've got, what, what we've got $1,000 in the budget. I know it's not going to take that. I just know that we need some decorations because mm -hmm. we didn't decorate anything last right. year. And we kind of... Yeah. yeah. It, everything just happened so fast mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. last year. So So that's what I would recommend is let's give her a dollar amount not to exceed and then she'll do it and find it and get started on it and then we'll come together as a group sometime in November and, and put them up. Mm -hmm. um, that's level of scared the cut throughs to death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing people out there, yeah. Stuff lit up. See if you find some stuff. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. Are we going to get her price today? Or? I, I would think so. Were, were y'all okay with that? How much you think we, we would need for 
and not to not to exceed amount. We can budget a thousand bucks. I don't think she's going over a thousand. No, no, no. 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 See, I want to do a thousand. Basic, I mean, that's I yeah. Mean, that's okay. Go online, see what you want, figure it out. Yep. That's what it's gonna cost. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Right. <laughs> um, All right. So, can I have a motion to give Dean an amount not to exceed a thousand dollars? Motion. Motion. Okay. So Stan had the first. Second. Elizabeth had the second. Motion. All in favor? <laughs> Unanimous. Thank y'all. Um, okay. All right. I have one more Next. other item. Um, credit card fees. Right now we use oh, yeah. the Square. Um, they are going up to three point five four five four percent on every transaction. Um, this year, so far, I have used about thirteen thousand dollars on our Square. Okay. Hold on a second. $13,000 in rental fees we have collected on a credit card. $13,000. That's a lot of money. So, however, okay, so, I've done, sorry, some, I just I've done some um, research. I went to Bank of Ozark first and I asked them about their credit card mm -hmm. machines. And the thing with Square is they charge you one rate for a swipe and one rate for a manual key in. Well, guess what? I can't swipe the first card anymore. Okay. Really? I cannot swipe the first know. card. So now it's all at 3.54%. Uh, Bank of Ozark has a um, credit card machine, $69 one-time fee plus a $4.95 per month plus 2.7% on every swipe plus $0.10. Cent. And then everything non-swipe that I have to manually key in is 3.5% with another $0.10 cent per swipe. So I kind of outed that one. Along with Square, um, I also got in contact with Cost Plus Processing. They do a thirty flat, thirty dollar flat rate fee each month with no credit card machine fees, and um, that's going to be the best. Right now, we're averaging about thirty four seventy five a month through it with um, the Squares. You're nice, Linda. What, what was that? What, um, what was the one that was the best deal? Uh, cost $30. plus, $30 um, flat rate each month with no credit card machine. That's three sixty a year versus... Yes, yes. Three, $3,000? Three like a no-brainer. Yeah. Right. Well, I would prefer to go to cost plus. I feel like that's going to save us just a lot more money, and we know it's $30 a month. Yeah. So with the, yeah. with the square, we just don't know from time to time. I don't know what you know. Mm -hmm. Well, it's below the 500, but I just wanted to let y'all know yeah. how much mm -hmm. they're wanting to increase that too. So, okay, so we don't need any action on that one. I just, mm -hmm. just keep any of the loop. <clears throat> yeah. okay. Um, okay, any other comments from council or the public before I go into the mayor's minutes? I did also attach, give everyone a copy of the Christopher Brother survey, the topos for the land of church It's <coughs> somewhere. Um, so this is the the survey that the survey that we got originally. Um, we commissioned this so that we could look at uh, redoing the parking lot. But then we realize if we're going to have them out here, let's get them to go ahead and do the entire municipal property. Um, and, and you can see where it goes from Tarantine over to Tony and Susan's house and then all the way back and all the way back to the railroad. Um, it's complete. It, it, it's a matter of public record now. Um, but the important thing is, is we've got the topography so we can, we can basically go back and any engineer can come back and design something for this municipal property, um, which is part of my impetus for saying, let's go ahead and start looking long term at some of the things we want to do. This is just, this survey will just be the foundation of it because now we can have someone come in and take this information and design site plans. Um, Arbor Valley won't be there forever, um, so eventually we will. We have a, a, a broad swath of a municipal property to do something with. What that something is, um, let's just kind of figure out a direction. I'm not saying we need to go in and revamp the entire property. I'm just saying, what do we want long term? Um, and that is where the survey is going to be the foundation. Um, the other things for the mayor's minutes this month, um, our library grand reopening that we were going to have um, last month, of course, got rained out. 
Uh, we're looking at November 16th as the makeup date for that. I confirm. I talked about that date with Brian with Dixie Dogs. Um, I'm going to confirm it with him, and then I want to reach out to Sharpsburg Baptist. I'm going to get the fire department out here, talk to East Coweed and some of the student clubs, and see if they want to come out here. And we'll have a grand reopening. Um, sign people up for the library. Uh, Brian has agreed to donate 25. 25 meals, meals roughly so if someone comes in and registers or gets a library card they'll get a free hot dog and then of course they'll sell dogs as well mm -hmm. um, maybe talk to Sharpsburg Baptist about doing desserts or something just as a, as a fellowship community outreach event maybe get a fire truck to come down here and just sit out and flash the lights um, so that'll be November 16th the mm -hmm website um, reveal I mean the website is already up and active but I would love to do a, a, a more public reveal about it once we get everything in place we're gonna have an email sign up list we're gonna be able to link to other community websites we're gonna be able to um, share a lot of county resources on there and it's just a way to to brand and, and put the town out there um, but going back to my main thing Let's go ahead and think about setting up a couple of work sessions in the first part of 2020 to come up with an idea of things we want to do. I'd love to add a recreation league here doing something. Um, I would love to have a, a programming calendar, an event list out of the library. Um, I would love to talk to Joe and the family and see what festivals we could bring back once they're comfortable with the work that is being done and how it progresses. But I think all of that starts with us planning and saying, this is the direction we want to go in. Yep. And while I have some ideas, I want to put it out there and say, if we can do a recreation league and use the space behind Sharpsburg Baptist, let's figure out sidewalks that are going to make it a walkable area to get from the library to the ball field over there. Um, how can we work with the church to bring those kind of activities? Um, even if we don't do the cul-de-sac, what can we build out of Triangle Park over there? These are all things that, that are going to take <clears throat> months and years to get to, but they all have a starting point. That starting point is the plan. Mm -hmm. And we ask the citizens what they want. We ask the kids what they want. We ask the students what they want and bring them in. I would love to get the homecoming parade back down here in Sharpsburg. Yeah. We could do that. We could do that very easily as long as we have a plan in place. But it all starts with planning it out. So I would like to look at some dates in January for either a work <laughs> session or a, a public hearing. Um, so maybe our first Monday in January would be our regular meeting. And then the second, do a second date in January for a work session in a public comment period. And we ask him, what do you want? Can I ask a question? Yes. What's the chance of getting David Mullins to sell us back that part that used to be a part of the Triangle property? Just got all the outlets where you could hook up things. Is there um, any chance of ever getting that back? Possibly. Uh, I know that he's got it for sale now, but I don't know what price he'd be willing to let it go at. We would... Mm. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, we certainly... Well, you're talking about park. That's the you know, place. Yeah. Yeah. So and also, I mean, it's right across from the church where you keep talking about mm -hmm. having things connected. Yeah. What yeah. park is she talking about? What about that? Um, where's the... It's like directly where's, across the street from my house. Where's the, the, the DOT sketch? It's just an of the triangle. You know where the triangle comes mm -hmm. this way? We've I'll, got a park. I'll show, David I'll show it to you. Got the park. I'll show it to you. DOT sketch? Is the DOT sketch over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 that's good. <laughs> so I'm it's sorry, this I area. I'm yeah. sure. It's right here. It's this area. Right How here. much of this area? Uh, it's like, what, an acre and a half? Mm -hmm. It's about an acre and a half right there. We used to have Easter egg hunts over there. The church would, would do Easter egg hunts. Mm -hmm. Little kids would be over here, big kids would be over that. there. But mm -hmm. I don't remember the uh, yeah. homecoming parades that was here in the well, they no, have here. Yeah, they used, there's yeah. They would start off at the high school, come down one mm -hmm. pinion forward. No, I made a face. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Come down to here in town. Mm -hmm. How many years ago? Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Eight, ten years ago. And yeah. they took it back to Sonora. Wow. Mm -hmm. But at mm -hmm. that time, the town did nothing to support yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, Zero. that's well, we're yeah. bring it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on down. So, but but like I say, all that begins with the plan, and and it is our charge to to lay that groundwork and lay that plan out. So, starting in January, <coughs> let's um, <coughs> let's let's start looking at January for for some ideas. So y'all be thinking and writing that's it good. down. January. I'm thinking. Yeah. Think happy thoughts. All right. So, <laughs> if anybody, does anyone else have any comments? Council, clerk, public. Okay. If if all. Um, oh. You were going to talk about the budget and um, volunteer. Oh. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. So. With the proposed budget, um, there is going to be, Hi. thanks Joe, appreciate it, there is going to be some money, uh, not left over, money from our proposed budget that we would like to put towards personnel. Um, we've got Brandy up here in the library, but Dina desperately needs an extra set of hands for a handful of hours around town hall. She is so busy answering the phone, showing people around the rec center. She has to take these budgets home. I do all of this at home. At home. Make statements. In minutes, the afternoon. Everything. So we we really need a part-time, I don't want to say office assistant, but we need part-time clerical help to handle just public-facing duties. Um, how many hours? That is really only to be determined by how much money we put into the budget. We're thinking 12 to 15 hours a week. So <coughs> add it to uh, Brandy? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll either add that to Brandy's because, see, Brandy already works at two different places. Keller. Mm -hmm. Three. At least. Oh, at Keller, least library, and the church. church. And the church, yeah. So so really she has three parts. And, of course, we, you know, Brandy would, would be first choice if she wanted to do it. Yes. But it's... But we're, we're more bringing it up now so that you know that we're planning on adding more staff mm -hmm. or putting some of the money, dedicating some of the money to the staff to relieve some of the pressure on Dina. Actually, I did some homework on that. Um, we, we have um, some money figures here as far as part-time people. Um, I think Brandy is going to be part time all next year. Is what that's what we're going to propose. Mm -hmm. I think it's like yep. seventy five hundred dollars a year for twelve hours, and that's what we've kind of put in the budget now um, for twenty twenty. Um, but it would include uh, my thirty five hours um, and Brandy's twelve hours and the mayor's. Um, $1,200 a month. That's what is year. our proposed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's showing $1,200 a month. <laughs> so Let me put that on that the record. It's a year. <laughs> yeah. So when you start looking at personnel, yeah. I have upped these numbers to, yeah. um, you know, have Brandy here part time, 12 mm -hmm. hours, 53 weeks a year, <clears throat> plus my increase in January, and then the mayor's. Salary. So the proposed budget that you're looking at on here includes one, Dina is full time, librarian, librarian is part time, and one office part assistant time. is part time. No, oh, we, I didn't no. put office assistant. You didn't? No. That. That would be another seventy-five okay. hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Needs to be added to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the bottom line is, is, is I mean, she collected thirteen thousand dollars in yeah. rental fees. That's because. She is on top of it, and yeah. at the same time, though, that keeps her from her other clerk duties. Mm -hmm. So, well, I just don't have any downtime from the phones ringing, people walking in, you know, to do things like preparing my minutes or doing the bank statements. It's so much easier for me to go home on Thursday night and work from 10 to 2 a.m. in the morning because I don't have any phone calls, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yep. And at six to seven hundred calls a month, she's on the oh, phone. Oh, that lot. phone rings. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> Constantly. Yeah, yes, probably it does. Probably have to try and bother her until <laughs> she's not available. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. If I could just yeah. have somebody well, answer the phone yeah. I six to hours phone a day for two I'm days like, a week, you have got to be mm -hmm. kidding me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I just don't want you getting burned out. So. Well, that yep. you know, I'm I'm working a lot from home at, on the weekends. I mean, this yep. weekend I probably had 15 hours because yep. I had a lot of sophisticity issues. Mm -hmm. You know, because when they put everything on my new computer, I didn't have my yeah. lost. 
I couldn't <coughs> balance my bank statements until yesterday. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Plus, I constantly answer the phone. So, so I can't. And it's going to be an investment. Anytime you invest in people is a good move mm -hmm. because the people are what make this so special. And we got to help them when they need it. And then we made a commitment to do the library first because it had been started before we all got here. And look at it. And, and look at it. This is wonderful. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Is it though? <laughs> well, we, yeah, we do. Yeah. We just had to figure out how to turn it on. Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> it's over here. No. We hadn't had to worry about heat. Those kind of sprung upon us. So this is how we this is how we keep the mold down. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so is there anything else, yep, Madam Clerk, that I needed to ask? Yep, okay. It. All right, so all business being handled, nothing uh, else pending in front of the council. If I can get a motion. Motion is made. Tom has the first. Cynthia has the second. Cynthia has the second. <laughs> all in favor? Hallelujah. Unanimous. Meeting is adjourned.